I will show you how to implement uh, tabs in a combination with a horizontal pager using Jetpack Compose. It's quite easy actually, and you don't uh, need uh, any extra dependencies. Just create a simple empty Compose activity project and you're good to go. In this demo I will just create a, a single composable screen. And, before we dive into the UI, first we need to decide uh, how to represent uh, each tab in our application. I have decided to go with uh, an enum class. Enum class has an entries a property, by default, which will help us to easily loop through each one of our tabs. Each uh, enum entry will hold uh, three different uh, properties. Those uh, two first icons uh, should be used to represent a, a different state uh, of our uh, tab item. So, a selected icon should be displayed on a single tab at a time. In this case, I have decided to add a maximum 3 tabs in the tab row. So, let's declare a new entry for each one of them. Each one will have a unique icon and a text. Awesome! Now, we can go back to the main screen composable. I will declare 3 variables here. A coroutine scope should be used to trigger one suspend function that will animate the scroll inside the horizontal pager. Then a pager state should be passed directly to the horizontal pager composable to control its behavior. And finally, a selected tab index should be used to control which tab is currently selected. But also which data to show inside the horizontal pager as well. Here, we are using a derived state of so that we can avoid the unnecessary recompositions and improve the performance and responsiveness of our application. Next, below that, I will add a scaffold, a top bar on the top of our screen, and a column that should wrap both the tab row and a horizontal pager. And don't forget to calculate the top padding here, because otherwise your tab row might be moved behind the top A bar. So far so good. Now let's start with the tab row. Here we want to pass that selected tab index value to control which tab is currently selected. Next, inside, we will loop through all our enum entries to get each and every tab that we have defined. For each uh, index function is a good choice here, since uh, we're going to need that uh, index information. Then, for uh, each uh, tab entry, we're gonna call a, a tab composable. To indicate whether a tab uh, is selected or not, compare the selected tab index value with the current index value from this uh, for each loop. You can optionally customize the selected and uh, unselected colors of each tab. And whenever we click uh, on one of those uh, tabs, we want to animate the scrolling inside the horizontal pager as well. Since our selected tab index is derived from the current page or a horizontal pager state, both of those components uh, will work in a harmony. Finally, we are passing the text and the icon parameters and calculating when to display a selected icon and when the other one. Pretty convenient. So we have completed the tab row part. Now let's implement a horizontal pager. Just pass a pager state which is used to control this component. Add a simple text element on the center so that we can display the corresponding tab text. And there you go, all done. Let me know in the comment section if you have used this combination before with uh, Jetpack Compose, and if you have, write down what's your overall experience. And of course, don't forget to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.